watch what happens when we pull this out. It is full. So I am at a service call for a while McLean Ultra. And this is it behind me. It's running right now. I just fixed an issue with it not draining. But uh, I'm going to go ahead and do a full maintenance on it since I'm here. And uh, I have the kit. So I'm going to take it apart, clean it out, and see the igniter and things like that. Make sure everything's okay. And hopefully I got some good footage. Wall McLean Ultra. As soon as it turned on, I heard the sloshing, so I knew this was clogged. Watch what happens when we pull this out. It is full. here for the receptacle. There's an outlet right here. And then I have to do the gas valve. My screwdriver is in my tool bag. It's this little thermostat screwdriver. I love this screwdriver. By Klein. It has a Schrader tool in as well. Yeah. 
this glider looks filthy. Let's see if the camera can pick that up. Nice and dirty. Could have been an issue too. This will be replaced with the kit. services this himself. He does the whole cleaning and everything. And he knows all about it. He's replaced his own control board. Um, he was caught up with traveling and COVID happening. So he hasn't had the chance to do it and he said a year and a half. Which isn't too long. I got so much water when I drained that drain out. I filled up my shop vac. I cleaned it out outside. We had one running hose. Because it's cold now, everybody's shutting their hoses off. It's very hot. show you the inside of it. I'm going to get a flashlight turned on pretty bad, actually. You could see how all wet this is. It's like glistening, maybe you can't see it, but that's because it was all filled with water from that clogged condensate. All the debris back in there. Pretty nuts. So we'll get this all cleaned up, hopefully before technical support calls or answers and put back together. Um, oh, I'll record a little bit of me cleaning it out with the sword, which I have right here. This is the tool they give you to clean it out. It's just a little arm sword. I can't record all of it because it's like super monotonous and I've already done it before. Talk all these wires out of the way. And start going to town. You see it for everywhere. And then I'll uh, vacuum it all up. I'll run some water through it. bristle brush to clean out this top part of the heat exchanger. Because all 
these spots up here get really dirty. And you can see just how much is coming apart. I don't use metal because there's a protective coating in here. And I don't want to disturb. And this gets it pretty clean. Lower uh, tank support. That usually gets pretty caked up. it out and I'll show you the finished product. And here's that burner mesh, which I'm gonna I'm gonna make a pile and back even up after. But it'll be uh, pretty sturdy. The burner mesh isn't too bad compared to the rest of it. Which you do have to actually be careful with because it will start to disintegrate. So I don't brush it too hard. Place. Let me get it in view. And I'll move this a little. But uh, you should just grab it with something pointy enough. Pull it right out. Same way. Refractory piece, which usually takes a little bit of scrubbing to get all of it off. This is what that uh, new gasket looks like and that new refractory. They give you new bolts for the burner gasket. They give you some others, which I'm gonna throw on, but I'm just gonna show you the difference in the heat exchange. It actually looks like, oh, I missed a big pile. So let me get those, but I was checking at the bottom uh, corner, making sure there wasn't any like uh, breaking apart or any holes forming, which there's not, so. Let me get that pile and finish up with the, uh, see the inside, looks much better too. But I gotta finish up with the front plate. Okay, so I'm just wrapping everything up at this point now. Uh, it's running perfectly. I did a combustion analysis. I had, uh, had them on the phone just to make sure everything was good. And uh, our lockouts were just ignition failure, ignition failure, ignition failure which could be due in part from that dirty uh, flame sensor, which I've already thrown out, but also from this being completely filled with water up to here. That leaves no flow for the exhaust. So everything's burning perfectly. Here's our combustion analysis. I forgot to save the high fire and the low fire. So I just did one in auto, but I did confirm the high fire and the low fire were good. You can see our particles per million on carbon monoxide are within safe ranges. And we're still within that 1% for both high and low fire, or 10% or something 
Uh, this reading is good for both low and high. That's what the uh, tech support said. And they really don't like to touch anything unless it's really far off. Because you can mess a lot of things up if you try to fine tune it and you lose your spot. So there are a few other issues like some rust from some leaks. Let's see, our exhaust is leaking up there, but it's 506, so not much I could do about that now. Uh, maybe we'll return on another day and get everything fixed up for him. Got dark out fast, but uh, just going into the woods here to dump the uh, vacuum. I don't want to dump it on his property. He didn't care about it before. He said that's where I could dump it, but I'd rather dump it somewhere better. This isn't all. This is because there was some mud in the vacuum, but all that gray on the bottom, that is from... The Wall McLean, which that's gonna be, uh, whatever. I'm not gonna clean it up now. I'll clean it up some other time because it's late and it's Friday. But wrapping everything up, massive, massive pool. I'm not gonna show all this guy's property, but it's a really, really nice house. Also, notice that he's got some Fujitsu systems that are blinking. They've been, uh, I guess using that for their heat source since they've been having no heat, no hot water. But I told him he should schedule an appointment for those. I would do it in hell if I could, but it's it's so dark out and I gotta check the condensers out and everything and it's cold out, so it's just like not a great time for it. Get everything back in the van where it goes. That's where I keep my sword. Toss this towel there. I gotta bring a clean towel down to wipe off the floor. Slip my test testo back in. And latch one of my many bungee cords. Alright, so finished up there. Just the being full with water, I think, is really what did it. But the igniter being dirty, I'm sure, didn't help. Uh, but he's all cleaned up now. He's good for the year. Um, Super, super nice guy. But uh, I didn't expect to record anything. I didn't expect anything really that interesting to be happening. But that was pretty cool. Uh, first time I've ever seen that. But hopefully you enjoyed watching the video. Uh, if you did, like it. Uh, comment any advice or criticisms or feedback. Uh, and subscribe. Thanks for watching.